In today's video, we are going to talk about how to fix USB ports not working in Windows 10 Fast. Myself Mohammed Zubair and this channel is all about showing you how to become a highly paid IT pro really fast. So without any further ado, let's get started. Well, first of all, look for the updates in your system. So go to your settings and then go to your updates and security and see if there are any updates that are needed to be installed. And that might be the reason that your USB ports are not working. After that, there are chances that you will get the solution of your problem. If this solution doesn't work, do not worry, go to your device manager and disable your USB controller and enable all of them again. Well, here is my universal series bus controller. Just expand this one. And from here, if you see here, we have USB mass storage device, USB root hub and USB root hub 3.0. Well, what I'll do now, I'll go for generic USB hub, right click on it and disable this one. After disabling it, make sure to enable it back again and this will solve your problem. So now I will just enable it and do the same with all of them in here and your problem will be solved. After that, make sure to look for any hardware changes. So just click on this button that says scan for hardware changes and you are good to go. Sometimes the laptop's power supply delivers the power to our USB ports. But in some of the reasons or in some of the circumstances, it fails to do this properly. Well, the devices that are plugged into those USB ports may stop working because of interrupted power supply. And sometimes this can be fixed quite simply. For that purpose, right click on your start button on your Windows 10 and go to your power options. After that, go to your additional power settings. From here, click on the option that says choose when to turn off the display. After that, click on change advanced power settings and it will open a window like this. From here, go to your USB settings and then again click on USB selective suspend settings. Make sure to enable both of these and then you are good to go. After that, just click on apply and click on OK. Open your device manager again and under the universal series bus controller, here if you see here we have USB root hub. Right click on it and click on properties. And from here, go to your power management. And here, if you see here, we have an option that says allow the computer to turn off this device to save power. Uncheck this option and click on OK. Do the same for your USB root hub 3.0. Go to your power management and uncheck this option. And now your system will continuously provide the power to your USB ports. Click on OK and we are good to go. Now, if you are using fast startup feature on your laptop or on your system, this might result in preventing your Windows operating system from detecting the hardware changes at the time of boot. So for that purpose, go to your power settings again or power options and from here, click on choose what the power button do. From here, click on change settings that are currently unavailable. After that, here if you see here, it says shut down settings and under that, here it says turn on fast start up. Just uncheck this option because if you go with this option, this starts your PC faster after shutdown and it prevents your system to boot up all the necessary devices and all the necessary drivers and in some of the cases, that is the reason that your system and your USB ports does not work properly with your Windows 10. Now, it will not be a problem as we have unchecked this option. Even if this solution does not work, do not worry. We have one more for you. We can also take a look at our registry editor in our Windows 10 to check if that issue is caused by the wrong entry into our registry. 
but make sure that any improper change in your registry editor can cause a problem that is irreversible so it is best to have a backup before making any change to go to your registry editor just press windows plus r key on your keyboard and look for reg edit hit enter from here go to your h key local machine and then go to your system after that go to your current control set and then go to your control just press c and look for control in here here it is i'll just further open this one after your class look for the entry or the folder that says 4d36e965 here we have all the list and in this particular directory make sure for the entry or look for the entries that says upper filter or lower filter and then just delete those entries and you are good to go and i do not have those entries that is why i'll not do that and it means my system is working pretty fine so these were some of the solutions that you can apply in order to make sure that your usb ports start working and that brings me to the end of this video if you have anything to ask please leave a comment below i'll get back to you as soon as possible till the next video take care